Welcome back to another Bay 66 Chevelle video. I'm going to show you all the difference between the hardened seat like we got over here versus the non-hardened seats. Now this head right here, a lot of people know out there, this is just the old double hump head. It's got this double hump right here. Some people call them camel humps. Same thing. Now this is a 66 head. Now, this head does not have hardened seats. And one way you can tell is when you look up in there like that, see how worn out that is? That's all your exhaust seats right here. Now this head's been sitting outside for a little while, but you can still see. This one's not too terrible. But these seats, all these exhaust seats right here, are not hardened. And what happens over time, due to the, when they did away with the leaded gas, now it's unleaded and there's nothing there to protect the, between the seat and the valve. And over time, the valve basically pounds the seat into the head. And what's happening here, basically, is as that as this engine is running over time it more or less pounds the seat into the head this one's pretty well bad that's pretty much shot and what you got to do is machine shop will go in here they'll cut this out and then they'll press in a new seat and then they'll cut the three angles so then you'll upgrade to a new hardened seat and another way you can tell too is see how that valve sits down in there like that? That's a good indication that this valve seat is worn out pretty bad. And if you put it, let's see, we got another seat right here. Let's see, this seat down here is probably one of the best ones. This one's not as worn out. You see how much more this sits up? This one ain't as worn out. I need to take this valve out here and put it back in this one. See how sunk that valve is? That's what happens over time when this valve is basically hammering the seat into the head. Now another thing you got to be careful about is over time, if you keep letting this go, eventually there's a water jacket up in here can't really see it but if you go if you were to take a little camera and get up in here and look down in there can't really get it at an angle on that if you look down in there on the other side of this seat is a water jacket and that's what helps cool the valves now I should have a water jacket right here here you can see it got little steam holes now this is a newer head. This has got the hardened seats. One way you can tell, this is an old 882 head. These heads are, they're all right. I ain't really had any trouble with them. A lot of people say these heads crack easy, but I beg to differ. I've run these heads for about probably five years and I ain't never had no overheating issues or cracking or anything like that. This is old 882 here. This is a 74 here. This is when they started fading out to let it gas and going to unlet it. And then what GM did is they went in here and, and started and hardened and flame hardened the seats. This is a hardened seat right here. There you go. Now you can kind of see it. These seats are, you ain't got to worry about. See how the valve sits up like it's supposed to? They still wear, but they don't wear out as bad as that. These are hardened seats, so these you ain't got to worry about. But that's a lot of your difference right there. And not just the 882s, but you got several GM heads that got the hardened seats. Another thing to watch out for is if you look at the difference between these heads, see how thin this is? 
This is this head has never been had any machine work or anything done to it. This is all original head. And see how thin this is? And if you look at this double hump head over here, see how much thicker it is? Once you get in the 70s, that's when the GM start lightening up the heads. The double hump heads are the way to go. They're a whole lot better. The only downfall is you don't have the hardened seats, so you got to go in here and install the hardened seats. The exhaust seats are the really the ones that take the most abuse because that's where all the heat is. But that's the difference between the unhardened seats versus the hardened. There you go, now you can tell the difference. Now, another difference I want to show y'all is a roller cam versus a flat tappet. It's got this roller on here. This is a roller lifter. Need a flat tappet. Now the roller lifters are a little bit longer. They gotta use a little shorter push rod. Well, there's the main difference right here. Roller cams are way better. They're honestly that's the way to go. They're about eight hundred to thousand dollars versus you know one hundred fifty two hundred and and 50 uh, for a flat tap. And this is a flat tap cam. Now, as this cam is going around, what happens is these loads over time will wear out. And they'll actually round them off. Over time, it'll just more or less wear them off. Now, a roller cam, you got the roller lifters and they got the roller. This on they are a whole lot better. See how they just roll over top of the leaves like that? That's the big difference between the flat tappet. This is a flat tappet cam. Versus a roller cam. Roller the loaves are a little bit different on a roller cam, but it's basically same design more or less but they're a little bit different with the roller cam they just roll right over flat tap it they wear out a lot over time eventually they'll they cuff down over time and like they'll eventually round off and then what happens is the valves don't open up like they're supposed to but that's the big difference between the flat tap it versus a roller.